This is code.org. Let's see what we're doing. I'm going to hit run again on that. More collision blocks. Three new types ooh, of sprite interactions have been added to the toolbox. Sprite.collide, sprite.bounce, and sprite.bounce off. So these are methods within a class. Meh, more on that later. But they can... Uh, they will cause these interactions with their sprite. How do they? How do you think they'll affect the sprites? Do this. Switch out of the displace block. Switch out the displace block for the sprite collide, bounce, and bounce off block. Show me where, and they'll actually point out. Yep, here's our displace block. Hint: If you're having trouble doing this with blocks, you might switch over to text mode. Got it. All right. So I'm gonna get rid of displace. Goodbye, displace, and let's try bounce off. And what they mean by text is I can just go ahead and just click on that text mode button. And instead of have the word sprite here now, what if I try parrot and I'm going to bounce off the penguin. Cool. Let's go ahead and give that a try. So I guess that's the parrot and that's the whoop. And there it went. Now, what's kind of neat, though, and with how these are, keep in mind, normally we would have to use the counter pattern and velocity and a conditional, which is an if statement. This does all of it for us. But watch what happens if I do penguin and let's make the parrot the target. So now the penguin should bounce off the parrot. Bye, penguin. I don't know how that's a penguin. It's just a tiny little face. But, you know, who's a critic? Me. Uh, bounce off. Oh, let's do bounce. I want to see the difference, of course. Okay, let's do. Bum -ba -dum. Oh, oh, and so not bounce off. They both bounce away from each other. Got it. And then collide. What do we think collide does? Well, collide definitely would mean an impact. Mm. And remember, this is running 30 times a second. Ooh, oh, so wait, parrot collides with penguin. So the parrot is stopped, but not the penguin. Remember, it's in the draw loop, so this code is run 30 times a second. So 30 times a second, we are checking to see if this is occurring. I switched these, now I have a penguin colliding with a parrot. Oh, and so that stops the penguin, cool, and not the parrot. Discuss with your neighbor, yeah, what do you think their purpose of each block is? So we kind of went over that. They're gonna be useful in a lot of ways. Always remember, you can click see examples, and it gives you a ton of useful information on how to use them. Honestly, I forget sometimes which does what, but boom, it's right here. All right, awesome. Let's keep going.